myself my name Forgot about all you tried to change Hey guys, we're gonna start off with foundation and BH Cosmetics Naturally Flawless is my go-to everyday foundation. It's honestly super affordable. It's like 10 bucks, lasts so long, and I mean it's just perfect. Perfect coverage, doesn't make your skin feel dry or oily. It's just the bomb. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I really like this one. This is in the color Light. And I'm blending away with my foundation brush here. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Light. I will buy this concealer over and over again because it is a perfect thing for spot treating. Make sure to dab your spots after putting this concealer on to get that coverage and not, you know, defeat the whole purpose. Taking my Tarte Smooth Operator Powder, I'm going to set my skin. Then for my brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. I'm using a small brush so I can fill in areas that just really need it. That is where I'm concentrating the product on. Make sure to brush out during this process so you can get rid of any harsh lines, as well as just to see where your brow still needs some filling in. For my contour and warming up of the skin, as you guys can tell, Hoola by Benefit is my ultimate favorite bronzer. It's the perfect tone for my skin as well as has no shimmer and I've hit pan on this baby like five times. For blush, we're using Nude Sticks, Naughty and Spice. I'm obsessed with cream blushes lately, so just tap this on and blend. Now I'm using Diamond Dust by Laura Geller Beauty for highlighter. It's honestly the most beautiful pink lavender shimmer. Then taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer once again, I'm just prepping my eyes. I want to make sure I have a nice base for shadow. And then for this tutorial, we're going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Norvina palette. But really, all you need is a matte pink eyeshadow. We're putting this on the lid and into the crease, blending away to make sure everything is nice and soft. I'm placing that same exact color underneath my waterline, so the lower lash line, and make sure to blend this as well. Taking the color Celestial, it's just a purple shimmer color, we're putting this in the inner corner of our eyes. Now just curling my lashes to give a little bit of a lift and then I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous the Burgundy Mascara which I think looks fabulous on green eyes and I have green eyes. It just makes them pop a little bit more. Now for lip, I'm using Kind of Sexy by MAC, one of my favorite colors. It has like a peachy nude tone to it and it goes so well with this look. It's a very monochromatic look. So now to make this look even more glamorous, we're taking some gel liner. I'm using Inglot number 77 and it's angled brush. I start in the middle of my lid, making sure that the line is thin, going into the inner corner, and then working on that end, making sure that my wing is nice and sharp. And then from the end of that tip, you're going to bring it all the way in and just fill in that little corner. Now you have the perfect wing, and we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Start from the middle to the outer, going to the inner corner, and then going back to that end to wing out that eye. For lip, I'm using More Better by ColourPop. It is an ultra matte lip. I know a lot of people don't like this formula, but I love it. It really just stays great on my lip and doesn't make it too drying. But I also think that my lip is just super hydrated all the time. So now just putting on some jewelry. We got these earrings from H&M. And then to really finish up this look, we're putting on these lashes. This is an angel from Truella Beauty Bar. If working on a client, please don't blow on the lashes. It's not sanitary, but for your own, you can to get the 
glue a little bit tacky and ready to put on. Then I'm just putting up my hair really quickly and I'm putting in a few bobby pins. All I did was rotate my hair into a little bun, zhuzh up the hair on the top, pull things out, and that's it guys. I'm wishing you guys a lovely Valentine's Day whether you're spending it with a loved one, a friend, or alone. Just remember to love yourself because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Love you guys.